Guys, real quick, I wanted to walk you through how to assemble the perfect power bowl. Now, I know I outline the steps in my book. They're on page 121, Six Steps to the Ultimate Power Bowl, but I wanted to talk through it with you just in case you have any questions. So the power bowl is really like a salad. Um, it looks similar, but has a little bit of different ingredients and just the word power bowl makes it seem like it's going to be heartier and more filling. So the key to the ultimate power bowl is how you build your bowl. And it really comes back to what you'll always hear me talking about, the perfect trifecta, making sure you have fiber, protein, and healthy fats in your bowl to help fill you up, give you energy and sustain um, energy and hunger levels for the long haul. So step number one is the base. You always want to create a base of leafy greens because we're always looking for more ways to include leafy greens in our diet. So having a base of leafy greens helps build a strong foundation and leafy greens have a lot of volume to them, meaning it's going to really help fill up your stomach. And when you look at a lot of volume on your plate, your mind registers that this food is going to be filling. So the next step is either a whole grain or you could even do a veggie rice. So a whole grain would be quinoa or brown rice, um, or you could do like a cauliflower rice or broccoli rice and really get creative if you wanted to. But the goal here is just to get some healthy complex carbohydrates that have a lot of fiber in them. So the whole idea behind whole grains is that it has substantial fiber in it versus something that's more of a simple carbohydrate where that fiber has been stripped from the food and those carbohydrates are being absorbed into your body as sugar would be. So then the next step is veggies and you can really be unlimited in the amount of veggies you add in your bowl. What I like to do on the weekend is just lay out a baking sheet or two and fill it with tons of different kinds of vegetables. I usually aim for three or four different kinds, things like sweet potato, bell pepper, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, you name it, it can probably be roasted. And then I'll always add a can of chickpeas or you could do black beans, any kind of bean you like to the baking sheet and roast those in the oven as well. So I have my veggies and my beans uh, there. And so you can really add any kind of vegetables you like to your Power Bowl. And they don't have to be roasted. You could add raw veggies as well. Just remember raw fruits and vegetables are gonna be harder for your body to digest. So you may experience some bloating or gassiness if you're not used to eating a largely raw diet. So the next step is going to be protein. This is the key nutrient that really fills you up and satisfy that hunger level. So you could do any kind of protein you like. You could do chicken breast, you could do roasted salmon, you could do a hard boiled egg, you could go plant-based and do beans or whole grains have protein in them as well. Lentils, nuts and seeds have some protein in them too. And then we're going for the healthy fat. So remember what I always say, fat will not make you fat, it can actually help you burn fat. And it's going to help give your body the fuel that it needs to keep going throughout the day. So I always have avocados on hand I can add to my Power Bowl. You can add nuts like cashews or almonds to your bowl, whatever kind of healthy fat you like. You could also just drizzle it with a few tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and that would be delicious as well. Now for the fun part, the extras. So you can really make your bowl into something delicious and something you look forward to by really um, honing in on the toppings and the extras. So what do I mean? That could be microgreens. They're going to be packed with flavor and nutrients for such a little tiny amount. You could add some hemp seeds on there. Again, I talked about protein. So you could add three tablespoons of hemp seeds for 10 grams of protein. You could sprinkle on some nutritional yeast. You can add a squeeze of lemon juice. And of course, you don't want to forget about the sauce. So in the book, I've included four must-make 
power bowl sauces and I'm demoing one for you guys as well. Uh, but the sauce is really what makes the bowl and makes it, turns it into a power bowl instead of just a salad that you can drizzle olive oil and lemon juice on. If you want to do that, that's totally fine, but I strongly encourage you to experiment with these different sauces. It just creates a heartier, comforting meal. Um, so I hope talking through that was a little bit more helpful and you can really build your bowl any way you like, but it's just super convenient because again, you're adding everything into one bowl. Whatever you have on hand, just add it to a bowl, top it with a dressing or a sauce and you're good to go. So I can't wait to see your bowls.